Good morning, Fraser. Uh, Wednesday morning, maintenance day. I am already at the CE building. It's not even eight o'clock yet, <laughs> but I wanted to get those uh, those boxes in. Yeah, wanted to get the boxes in for Gary so that we can uh, we can do that smoothly kind of thing, right? Uh, without much hassle. So, going to do that. Brought some extra boxes this morning, and we'll uh, we'll see how she goes. Let's get her done.
that's this section done because the ladies are going to be in here soon. So I wanted to get this done so we can be working back here and not disturb them. Just got to figure out how to close those doors. sideways box right where that where that 2 by 4 is right in there because that's the only way we're going to be able to work that out so that's what I'm going to work on almost made a faux pas. I don't need a full box down there. I can leave that there. Oh, if I do that, I don't need a box. I will not need a box if I do it there because I'll have enough coming in. It'll be a little tight, but it'll be fine. I'm good. Oh, I was right in the first place. Once in a while. But I can't do it there. I need that. That was what I was thinking in the first place. Yes, so. for Gary as well. No issues there. Now this one. Alright. Again, we're going to put a box over here somewhere. From there. Eight thirty nine. Good to go. Oh, 
little bit of drywall to do, but other than that, we're good. Thought I was done, but I forgot I gotta get this in there. So, so this has to be drilled. Okay, Rick, we're gonna be working with you. It, it's horrible out there. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't blame you. I'll be watching you work. Have you got That's anything all. for us to do? Pull oh, I got, I got stuff to do. Um, once Gary gets here, yeah, I'll kind of give him an outline as to where everything is, so yeah. he knows. And then uh, I'll leave one of you here with him to help, and yep. then I'll steal one of you and go over into the uh, into the uh, basement of the church. I gotta do some stuff over there. Sounds good to me. Cool. I just gotta make a hole if I can. We've got this box got to go in here. Yeah. Right. So this box has got to go in there. I've only got so much room. And I got a I've got a two by four on on edge right below. Mm -hmm. So it's not letting me. Uh, not really letting me do anything. And I would go here. Yeah. But this wire goes that way, which is why I had to be down so far in the first place. So I don't want to rip through those wires. Oh. It's kind of a pain all around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are amazing. Amazing. They were good. And I don't like to call it fishing anymore. I heard it call it jigging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you jig for cod, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. It's not, but it, you know, fishing to me is trolling, right? You know uh, when are the ladies going to be doing painting? I... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we have no idea. Well, I gotta finish my drywall first. <laughs> done. Done, done, done. And by the way, Fraser, look who finally showed up. Hey, I made it! Yay! Hey, Fraser, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I didn't tell him we've been here all night, so... And it still isn't 9 o'clock. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I had uh, Gary say hi yet today. It's uh, electrical, they've got old uh, construction stuff. Yeah. Uh, Kendra Greenville? Yeah, yeah, it's a re restore. Yeah, it's kind of a restore thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I've, uh, I just popped in there because I was just looking for electrical stuff. And I got a whole bunch of connectors. and. Oh, nice. And stuff like that for like dirt sheet. I mean, Sweet. Really expensive yeah. because they, you know. Oh, well, they hey. said hi to Fraser yet today. Yeah. So. Hey, Fraser, good morning. I got it. Rick's been up for a long time and he's been busy. And I, <laughs> and I got here and they were saying, oh, just in time, you know, <laughs> five, two, three minutes to nine and they're the so there you I've, go. I've got to wake up a little bit earlier to catch these guys uh, already humming, humming away here. That's right. Right. He gets me up at 8.30, so. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he does? Uh, okay. That's that's okay. Gary, Gary drew the short straw today. Yeah, that's okay. You're working with me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any okay. help is great. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna run over and do a little bit of light sanding in the bathroom. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, guy is out here doing the knobs. Oh, knobs, yeah. So you got one lock one there. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna the privacy we'll put on the uh, on the the bathroom, the single bathroom. But we're not. Well, we can do that afterwards. That yeah, one that one there. Yeah, that one there. Oh, I see. Oh, well, I thought it was a key. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have to do that one right away. We can do that one after. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I am going to run in here and do about a quick two two minute job on this because I really don't think this needs much. there so what do you do all right dude so uh we've got a lot of the holes 
uh, plugged up. All everything is basically wired. Uh, the power is not on yet because we don't have the transformers. The transformers didn't come in yet, but uh, they're supposed to be in by Friday. So either this weekend or you know next week, whatever. Then we'll get the transformers in there for the 24 volt, and uh, and we'll get them done. But they're all they're all good. I had to mud up that one so we didn't cover that one up yet, but power's off on everything. So. There we go. A little bit of drywall never hurt anybody, right? And at Sharon's request, Sharon's request, even though she denied it initially, I had Guy do all the, uh, all the door knobs. So they're all nice new door knobs. Did he do all that? He did. He did. Excellent. Excellent. So yeah, the doorknobs look nice. There we go. Everything's got a very final skim coat, but other than that, we are done for the day, buddy. Whew. Hey, Fraser. Hope you're having a good day today, bud. Uh, hope you kept busy and, you know, hope you're still healing and starting to feel better. Uh, it was an early, a bit of an early day at the uh, at the CE building, but uh, for maintenance day, but nothing too serious. I just wanted to make sure stuff was done for Gary, and it was, which was good. Uh, yeah, and you notice that that I stuck my arm back in those same creepy areas where the spiders were. Yeah, didn't enjoy it, didn't like it, but I did it. <laughs> But yeah, no, it all worked out well, and, and Gary, uh, you know, Gary and Guy, or sorry, Gary and Kelly worked on, on that, and uh, Guy did the, do the doorknobs, while I did uh, the sanding of the, uh, the drywall, and did real, real light, like, so tight, it wasn't even really, a, it was a skim coat, but I'm like, the only thing I'm filling in is literally the, uh, the, whole, the, the scrape marks, that's it. So uh, other than that, it should, if it needs like a 320, 300 grit, you know, that's going to be what it. So I'm very happy. We're starting to see the, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel for this thing, right? Which is good because they need to paint before the flooring goes in and the flooring goes going to go in in about three weeks, right? Three. Yeah, about three weeks, right? So, uh, so everything will be done for painting hopefully in another week. Uh, I'm just starting to patch up some of the, the bigger areas, you know, that, that were taken up by the baseboards and stuff like that as well. So, as well as all the ones we did for the for the heaters, the hallway, the rooms, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So that's 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 nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, but it's been uh, it's been a lot of you know. Whew, gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. Because you know my, that's the way my brain works, right? If there's a job to do and there's a deadline, I don't want to be done on the deadline. I got to be done two weeks before the deadline because. What if something goes wrong and then you can't make the deadline? So, you know. Crazy. Crazy for feeling totally. That's my song, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good. We're just waiting on those uh, those 24-volt uh, transformer things, whatever they are. And that's it for that, yeah. So, really, there's not a ton left in the CE building until we get to that week before they actually do the flooring. And then we'll have to take out the... Uh, uh, the partitions because we're going to shut the whole basically the whole building down because we won't have any bathrooms at that point we'll have to check we have to check in the handicap washroom to see if we've got sand under the toilet and if so fix that we have to take out all the partitions in the boys bathroom and then take out all the toilets because i know i've got sand under that that i've got to fix so um but that's that's a couple weeks down the line so for right now we're pretty much done the most of it done the worst of it so just touching up the uh, the walls for the ladies to uh, to do the painting, and that's about it. So, so yeah, I was pretty pleased that that's you know gone as far as it has, kind of thing, right? So, uh, I'm so appreciative that Gary is there because man, oh man, yeah, I can replace heaters, I can replace thermostats, no problem, as long as it's all 240. As soon as you get into the 24 volt. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I'm very glad that he was there to figure all that stuff out. So, it's good. It looks clean. It, 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 once it's painted, it, it should look amazing. So, 
But yeah, that's about the day. I still got that kink in my back, man. And it usually sticks around for about a week. It's like, again, it's right there, but it's on the, the back, the shoulder blade side. Right at the corner of the shoulder blade. That's where it always hits. It'll go away. It goes away eventually. With most of that work all being done, hopefully we start to get into doing some different things and maybe even fishing. There's a good possibility. It's still windy out right now, but the wind is supposed to be down on Friday. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping for fishing on Friday. Fishing with fishing on fishing with Fraser? That's, that's ridiculous. Why would you even do that? Why would you even think that? I know. Can't wait to get back out there and try the camera, man. You know, so. Start, in, let's, uh, Romans 7. So my brothers, you also died to the law through the body of Christ, that you might belong to another, to him who was raised from the dead, in order that we might bear fruit to God. For when we were controlled by the sinful nature, the sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our bodies, so that we bore fruit for death. But now, by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law, so that we serve in the new way of the Spirit, and not in the old way of the written code. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. Indeed, I would not have known what sin was except through the law. For I would not have known what coveting really was if the law had not said, Do not covet. But sin, seizing the opportunity afforded by the commandment, produced in me every kind of covetous desire, for apart from the law, sin is dead. Once I was alive apart from the law, but when the commandment came, sin sprang to life and I died. I found that the very commandment that was intended to bring life actually brought death. For sin, seizing the opportunity afforded by the commandment, deceived me, and through the commandment, put me to death. So then, the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, righteous and good. Did that which is good then become death to me? By no means. But in order that sin might be recognized as sin, it produced death in me, through what was good. So that through the commandment, sin might become utterly sinful. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do, for what I want to do, I don't do, but I do what I hate. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer myself who do it, but the sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For what I do is not the good that I want to do, no, it's the evil that I don't want to do that I keep on doing. Now, if I do what I don't want to do, it's no longer I who does it, but it's the sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So then, I myself, in my mind, am a slave to God's law, but in this sinful nature, a slave to the law of sin. So even Paul, and I mean, we recognize that Paul was a murderer, because he was murdering Christians, um, before he became a Christian. But he had such a revelation from, from God of who Jesus was, that he had just a m massive, radical turn to Christianity um, and someone even with that radical turn that radical revelation he still struggles with sin Christians are not perfect we are not better than anybody we struggle as much as anybody else but we have Jesus who helps us with that sinful nature Jesus has put to death that sinful nature within us. So we turn to Jesus rather than turning to sin. And again, it's a free gift, man. Jesus wants a relationship with everybody. All we have to do is accept it. So. I love you, buddy. I miss you. Look forward to seeing you soon. And I will post more tomorrow.